everybody. Today is gonna I'm gonna be able to spend some time in my studio today. The job that I was working at, we did a concrete pour and a couple of things went south. So we're backed up. Our plan has changed and that gives us a little bit of time off. Some people enjoy that, some people don't. So I'm heading to the studio. I don't mind a, a good old dog bark in the back room or the background once in a while. Um, if I get to my man uh, Bob Dylan, there's actually some uh, uh, recordings of some of his songs. One of the songs that he sings called "Every Grain of Sand," which is this really deep, strong. It's kind of like a religious uh, song, and one of the recordings, his dog starts barking in it, and it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. What am I doing? Am I, I'm. Sh is this kind of weird? I'm out. You know, anytime I let my uh, beard grow, which, uh, personally speaking, I always feel um, a little bit more in tune with myself or something when I let that go. There's something natural about it. But when I do go to shave it, it makes such a mess inside of the bathroom that um, I just shave outside uh, on my uh, studio. So I'm just sharing what I'm doing in the studio. I don't know what I'm doing out here. Um, this channel, it's all just uh, uh, trial and error for me. And um, well, I'm keeping my bathroom clean. And I remember growing up with two sisters, my dad was very adamant about sitting, like for me to sit down to pee. And they had, he had no tolerance for a, a, a messy bathroom. So I've brought that with me for my life. So I'm gonna get shaven. And I always switch over to this little bad boy to finish up, which my nephews recommended, and it's really convenient. I, don't, I, I, I didn't put a blade or cream on it. I go pretty close. Um, okay, not bad. And as much as I do like the beard, it always feels good to clean up, too. <clears throat> now, I'm going to go down, grab myself a hot beverage. And I have a meeting. I'm a member of a, of a group called um, Solid Ground. And... Um, you know, it's people all over the world, and uh, we meet on Zoom and talk, and it comes from a YouTube channel, or part of it comes from a YouTube channel from a woman named Leslie Elliott from uh, the Radical Center, and it's kind of just basic um, dialectic, you know, intellectually honest conversations about what's going on with um, the way that society seems to be divided right now, and um, it's an excellent... Um, group for me to uh, hash out my ideas and where I feel as though I stand in society right now. So the Radical Center, solid ground. Um, I really appreciate those people. I don't know. There's something therapeutic, and I'm not joking, about picking up 
garbage. And this is just in like a back laneway in Vancouver. So garbage is gonna compile. And I just make sure, I just try, I just walk around and keep it clean. And again, I just think if everybody kinda did that within a city and everybody had one of these sticks, it'd just be a simple way to improve things. Well, well, well. Yes, sir. -y. I had a great conversation on the telephone. It was a FaceTime with my mother this morning. And, um, you know, my mother, Mother's Day is coming up, but if there's one day that I think you know, cannot be broken down into one day, it's Mother's Day. Like, I mean, how many of us out there, um, you know, should be honoring, we, like, you know, how many of us out there truly honor our mothers every day? You know, that is the, um, the base, uh, just the basic structure to uh, familial relationships. And I'm so lucky, my mother, is just an absolutely kind um, person and she's always giving and helping others and you know I know I'm one of her children but she has helped me in my life and she continues to do so Yeah, I'm actually um, feeling as though I'm back in my mindset to get this glove progressed. I did take a little bit of a hiatus for several different reasons. So I have a little bit of time to myself right now. And uh, I gotta make some hay while the sun shines, folks. But yeah, getting back to my mom, it's just so nice to have a real, you know, an, uh, to be able to have like an open conversation and just really share you know ourselves you know we're going through some family stuff um health related that um and and what you know things that all families have to go through so i am happy that i have you know our our family structure is really strong it's really close and tight and um you know we always have each other's back so i'm proud to be from a family like that and um yeah, so just getting off the old horn with Mama. She's been watching these videos. So, hey, Mom. <laughs> I appreciate uh, you in every way. This is my little uh, prelude to maybe a Mother's Day. Uh, um, you know, maybe I'll think about that as I get going. But yeah, so where am I at today with this glove? Like, I, I gotta get back into this, folks. This has been slow. I've been slow here. Um, I have the Fred Ritchie Invitational carved out. I will uh, fine tune that with some sanding. I will stain that a darker color. But in the meantime, I'm gonna sand this glove down. I did go and get more lace today. I, um, I uh, totally underestimated how much lace I was gonna need. I got three meters on the weekend and I started freaking stitching this thing up and it ended up being it went to about here so I needed I went today and I got five and a half meters um, interesting neighborhood that that's the neighborhood where this store is is kind of like a right on the outskirts of, of uh, East Hastings neighborhood which is the uh, oh my god notorious um, neighborhood in Vancouver where we have so much trouble going on on the streets it's it's our the drugs the homelessness the whatever else is going on down there that is kind of incomprehensible and um, but it was interesting to it's always interesting to go down there and see what's happening and just to kind of observe and, yeah so I'm gonna finish fine-tuning this sanding it up ready to go and then then I'm gonna be able to um, uh, start put some stain on this thing and attach it to the base, I think are gonna be my next, uh, my next real steps. And then once that happens, the wind's gonna blow that over. Uh, once that happens, 
we're going to start to see a visible um, difference. You know, I've been out here just talking and shooting baskets and reading some books and talking to some neighbors and, you know, trying to figure out some things as life takes you down some turns that you're sometimes not um, truly prepared for. So that is why I have been thinking about that sign on my door these past, my studio door when I walk in here, to thine own self be true. And I, I just find that such a very simple, uh, simple statement, but it's quite profound when you try to um, adhere to it. So I'm going to put my mask on, sand this up, and uh, we'll see where that gets us. to stop video I had to run quickly and close up but you know doesn't look any different to you guys but I did a lot of sanding on this today like a good chunk of sanding to get the uh, you know to get it ready and you know so tomorrow if I don't go to a job site which I kind of don't want to I got a lot going on in my brain right now and thinking about some stuff um, I should have a color on that glove and have it hopefully attached to the base like i mean if i play my cards right tomorrow i should be able to do that here's my ball uniform the rain dogs i've been a member of the team for a while i did take a little bit of a hiatus and i went and did i, I had my own team for a while and did a, that sort of a project which is something i needed to do this team is named after the classic tom waits album rain dogs and uh i think i don't know probably 30 years old they've been around or something like that um you know i'm a number 37 i kind of in honor of bill lee the spaceman the lefty pitcher for the red sox and the expos casey stengel the manager of the yankees in the 50s and 60s he was a number 37 so there's a there's a little bit you know 37 i picked 37 i think paul newman and cool hand luke was 37 um i think Tim Robbins' character in Bull Durham was number 37, so it's kind of like this, uh, it's an interesting number, it has a little bit of history, so that's why I chose it. But um, this is going to be my send-off for this video. I am off, i got to pick up a young guy from New Zealand, and we'll be heading to the park, so I'll check you guys in the morning. <laughs> 